Hey, Sam, I got you in another sphere. I don't know what just happened, but I feel... I feel like I've changed. And that's not the only thing to have changed. Take a look. Someone is coming to get us, Sam. I'm not sure how much of this I can take. They're just hanging there. Well, UC2 is pressurizing just now. Let's try to contact them in the meantime. Assuming they aren't all dead. Look, I know this makes no sense. And you'll probably just give me some broken response. You're here, sir. I am here, Emma. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you are, aren't you? One more time, Sam. Voice authenticate. Fisher, one four zero four one two. still have some work to do if we want to speak to anyone. External comms looks good, but the array is facing the wrong way. So, looks like to get a signal out, we are going to need two things. First, we need to adjust the array to target the other station's relative position from ours. And the astrophysics lab may have some answer to that. Secondly, our broadcasts won't go anywhere without the captain's authorization code. I'm guessing we can find that in his personal module, EAS-7. Let me know what the authorization code is so that I can enter it into the system. You will need to set up the comms array yourself, though. If there are any new station alerts, be sure to let me know. I may be able to action some repairs now. Emma, my cameras in EAS-7 have failed to initialize. Weird. Maybe Jim turned them off. Should be fixed. Try them now. The code is Precursor 1. It appears to be a mission code. Precursor 1? But that's not a mission code, Sam. What the hell is Precursor 1? Well, it seems to work. That's the auth code in.
Sam, that's a good sound. We've got us back in business. Here goes nothing. <sighs> okay, here you go. This is Emma Fisher on board Observation. Please respond. This is Observation. I have visual. Please respond. If you can hear me, please let me know in some way. It's, um, it's just me left and Sam. I'm not sure how we ended up here. There was a massive power outage, some noise, and then we ended up here. I'm assuming you know all this if you're here to pick us up. Repeat. This is Emma Fisher on board Observation. Please respond. Sam, that alarm. Is that an incoming comms message? It must be the rescue station. It can't be ground control. It's, it's too quick. Sam. made it across after we saw May, when the rescue station arrived. Oh, God, thank God. Sam, I'm heading to the airlock. Get in your sphere. You're coming too. I saw a movie once, where they had to jump from one spaceship to another. They used the explosive decompression of a module to throw themselves across. Why bother? <laughs> you can just aim and gently push off. And I can honestly say, now that I'm in that situation, there's no way in hell I would trust my trajectory to an explosion. So that's where you come in.
This is only my second time outside the station. And now I have two stations. Talk about jumping off into the deep end. Okay. That's us tethered together for the jump. If I start to drift, you can try to course correct in the sphere. I'm not sure the science is spot on, but it's better than nothing. You can be my anchor. Oh, okay. Here goes. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh god. Still with me, Sam. This rescue ship is identical. They must have built a secondary station. Like a, a prototype, maybe? Why would they need two stations? Okay, okay, we're almost there. Holy shit, Sam, you're drifting. You're gonna hit that module. Nice and slow. 